Welcome back to The Phoenix Project. We're Laura and Anthony, a young, ambitious married couple who moved from the chaos of the UK to the peaceful countryside in Bulgaria. We've done van life, travelled the world, and now we're on the road to self-sufficiency with our rural renovation project. Last week, we paid a visit to the beautiful Serendipity Homestead with Julianne and John to get some advice and ideas on how to build our own homestead. This week, we take a trip to the Palomarza Trading Day and take a gamble on our own feathered friends. Will we get the chicken coop made in time? Find out on this week's episode of The Phoenix Project. I don't know if you can hear that, but I was talking to Julianne and John at the weekend and they said that I can hear him saying Kapuvam, which is to buy, um, but I can't hear anything else. But apparently they're going around and buying uh, walnuts, if you have walnuts on your property, um, which obviously we do, but not right now. <laughs> um, so I think any any walnuts you can collect on your property and sell them to the to the guy who comes around. So um, I thought that was quite sweet, actually. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another crazy episode of the Phoenix Project. So today Anthony is trying to um, see what wood we... So Anthony is trying to find wood for our chicken coop so we can build our chickens because a very nice friend of ours in a village nearby has offered to sell us some of their chickens that they know are healthy chickens so we're trying to find wood to build a chicken coop and also for some shelving for the bathroom so we've got somewhere to put our things <laughs> so i just connected to the uh, battery charger by bluetooth oh. and i forgot that we could do that um and it's currently in uh yes yeah, currently charging which is awesome because i ordered the adapter we needed hang on a minute no. Oh, so I ordered the adapter we needed to be able to put the van on charge um, when we first got in Bulgaria, to Bulgaria, uh, and it never turned up. I finally ordered another one and it's arrived, so the van's on charge. Awesome. So we had another power cut this morning, uh, like 20 minutes before I started teaching. Um, and so we've set up the van as kind of an off-grid classroom for me, so I can go in there um, and teach using the solar power. This morning we had a power cut, didn't we? We had no power, and mummy, no mummy had no electricity for her teaching. Yeah, I had no electricity, so I had to go in the van. I had to go in the van. Yeah, I had to go in the van, and I had to use the solar power. Power. Yeah, so I was off grid teaching. Yeah, yeah off grid. So we were using the um, the batteries and the the sun for the solar power, and mummy was using her hotspot. Sorry, just before someone comes in the comments, guys, it's not off grid because you were using the internet. Yeah, well, I was using my phone. It was my mobile hotspot, so... <laughs> I know, but the internet's not off grid. Anyway, everything's good. And uh, <laughs> we're trying to build a chicken coop out of nothing, so... <laughs> what have you done? I accidentally removed the door. I was balancing here. See this? I was bouncing here, holding the door, trying to put the door back on, and instead it just leveraged the door off. Oh, this door? Yeah, oh, so I, I see. put it behind you. I see. But it's fine. Um. So everyone, this is going to be our kitchen. <laughs> Probably looks silly me having this on my head, doesn't it? This torch. <laughs> The emphasis is on. Me. The emphasis is, is on. This is, and then you say Sparta. Right. It's not. This is Sparta. This is Sparta. It's not a spa, right. Laura. Spielberg. It's not. A, it's not a spa. 
This is Sparta. Come and get your manicures. Ah, oh, yours subscribe. has. Subscribe to the channel. Do it now. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Ah, oh, yours hasn't got five times zoom. I was going to zoom into your butt when you were <laughs> bent over. I was like, ah, oh, I can only zoom in twice. So I'm now all set up at the Palomarza Trading Day. Uh, I've got my little table here with my jewellery, um, so you can see. And it's absolutely scorching today. There's loads and loads of traders. Um, and it's not even 10 a.m. yet. <laughs> and it starts officially at 11. Um, so it's going to be a really busy day. And I'm really excited to show you some of the other things that the other traders have got on offer. We've got some Thai food next to me, which I'm excited about. Um, and there's lots of plants and things like that. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be a really nice day. So some interesting etiquette when uh, selling at a Bulgarian market uh, is that if it's on the table, it's for sale. <laughs> so I have uh, had pliers and drills and all kinds of things like on show and you have to put everything away because people think that it's for sale, <laughs> which is quite funny. <laughs> Is that tasty? Yeah. <laughs> so how many did you say we're getting? Uh, four. How many have you got in there? Seven. Why? Because we rounded it up because I gave I didn't have. Because you didn't, have, didn't have, change. have the right money, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that seems like a likely story. So here they are. Here's the girls. Here's the girl squad. Okay, so I'm going to have to build <laughs> bigger. <laughs> it's so big. It's going to make them bigger. They are going to get bigger, yeah. They're chicks. They're chicks. They're chicks. So did she check their wing? Easter gift is that we've got chickens. So we're gonna build. Uh, yeah, well, the chickens are chicks, baby. They're baby chickens. So we're gonna build the chicken coop today. Uh, it is about 30 degrees, I think, today, or at least predicted. It's bloody hot. So we're gonna try and do as much as we can this morning, um, and then maybe do some crafts and stuff this afternoon with the kids. Um, the chicks are still very, very young. They're only um, just over a week old. So they're not going to be ready to go in the coop for a while anyway. So it's all fine. We can enjoy the sunshine and just take it easy and build it as best as we can out of the materials that we've got here. We're going to reuse most of what we've already got because it makes sense to do that, you know. Um, there's no point in us going out and buying loads of wood when we've got existing stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. No pun intended.
so it's now half past seven on Sunday evening um, and this is where we're up to with the, the chicken coop so Anthony's just building the nesting boxes I've just changed the chicks over to a new brooding box so they've got fresh bedding um, they've got fresh water they've got fresh food I've cleaned their vents so they don't have any problems pooping um, I have watched so many chicken videos that I, f I hope I know all the things that might go wrong so um, and now we're trying to build them a nice house um, and also um, we uh, we had uh, lunch late today because we had the lovely Bex and Johnny come to visit us which was so nice um, and it's just so nice to connect with like-minded people who really can see what we're trying to do here and um, kind of share in our like way that we want to live and stuff and yeah it's just really nice energy really nice afternoon we all needed a rest so it was nice to get together um, and also they brought us some Marmite <laughs> and so we're really looking forward to having Marmite on toast this evening um, and uh, yeah there's not many things we miss about England but Marmite might be the one <laughs> that we do um, so yeah I'm gonna show you now what Anthony has uh, done with the chicken coop oh god this is awkward kind of put screws in this back end and it's just really difficult uh, so yeah this is it uh, it's currently on its side. This is going to be the side of the coop, which will have their nesting boxes externally so that we can open it up and get some eggs out. The front is on this end. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slap these three sides and then we'll have a slightly slanted roof uh, to expel all of the water. Good job. <laughs> So, just need to put the lid on. Yeah, happy with how that's coming along. So, this is what Anthony's done so far. Oops, almost died. Um, he's going to be putting in. Um, some partitions here for the nesting boxes. This is all upcycled materials from the property. Um, I hate saying the property, it sounds so formal, from on our land really, and from out of the house. Um, we're gonna put a door on the front here. Um, and then we're gonna put roosting uh, poles and things like that in here for them. And we'll cover the sides. We have this um, mesh stuff over here. Whoa! Um, this mesh that's like a metal mesh and then we also have some fencing and that's going to go the whole thing's going to go in here um at the back and then this is all going to be covered with fencing as well so as you've probably seen we bought some chicks the other day from um someone that we know in palomarza oh they're all sleeping right now so um, I we have taken care of chickens before. Um, in true Phoenix style, we were not fully prepared um, for this to happen. It's just that we wanted to take advantage of the fact that someone was, uh, someone had some chicks, um, and we were kind of ready right now. We were building the chicken coop, um, and so 
we yeah i set up a brooding box so we can learn together if you want to uh, learn about uh, rearing chickens and keeping chickens then you can learn with me um because i've been learning for about i've probably been on chicken groups for about a year on facebook and things like that and i know people with chickens and um yeah so we know we've got to keep them nice and warm so here I have a brooding box for them and that's the box that you keep them in for the first six to eight weeks while they're really diddy um, and so they can stay warm. Um, right now they're sleeping but they've been really active today so I have some paper underneath here, um, some wood shavings um, and also some uh, chicken feed and also they have a dish in the corner because I'm not sure I want to buy the big chicken water feeders because they just they're a nightmare. Um, so we're gonna have a look at maybe making a water feeder um but yeah this is the chicks this is the girls um i'll show you in here though they're probably gonna come and have a look see what's going on so yeah we've had them um we've had them how long have we had them for now we've had them for a couple of days and all's well so one one top tip that i'm really happy that i learned about was that you have to check their vent to make sure that there's no poop stuck to it because if there's stuff stuck to their vent it means they can't expel waste and then they get really sick and they die so um this happens they get this i can't remember the name the technical term but they get like a sticky vent and if they're stressed if they're wet if they're they're not being cared for properly they've got a lack of nutrition they get this sticky vent so you have to take a warm bit of cotton wool and just wipe it away so one or two of the birds did have a sticky vent when i got them um so i cleaned up their vents made sure they're nice and dry i'm refreshing their water like two three times a day um they have some stones in there so that they don't drown <laughs> um and so they can get in there and they can feed um so yeah um, i'm just trying to make sure they don't die right now <laughs> Apparently it's not on level ground, but at least there'll be a slant to the roof so the water doesn't sit on it. Most of this roof will be under shelter. I think up to about there will be under shelter of the house roof anyway. So it only needs to really stop water from sitting on this end. What part did you have in this? This is where the magic happens. <laughs> I built this. Oh, okay. Built it with some. Did you make plans and stuff? Two by fours and some four by twos and some, some galvanized. Can I go in there? Subfloor and the. <laughs> the, 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 the Um, Anthony's done an amazing job on this and I honestly I'm so impressed it's amazing so yeah this is our chicken coop and I'm so so proud of Anthony for making it out of literally did you buy anything did no buy look you? look at the hinges <laughs> the hinges I stole from that weird um where the, there was like a, a bifold yeah, bit yeah. of door uh -huh. on the chimney oh. the little yeah so we're gonna put we're gonna put a door on here as well oh and there's a little <laughs> So yeah, this is where they're gonna burp. Gonna go walking in there. We're gonna put some rungs on here so they yeah. can get up easier. Um, and then yeah, there'll be a door that goes on here. Uh, they're too little at the minute to go in. They still need a few more weeks inside. Um, how old do they have to be before they can go six outside? To eight weeks. Okay, and how so old are they? They're currently one week. Okay. Yeah. One for two weeks. So at least we'll be fully like the yeah, whole area will be. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> She's doing that with her fingers. Yeah, so we've got seven chi seven chicks. 
So we've got the uh, we've got the, the roosting per. I, I just know that someone's going to say something <laughs> about this and be like, "That's not how you do it," and that's not how you do it. We're first-time chicken owners. We have taken care of chi chickens before. Oh yeah. yeah. And then we've got our nesting boxes in the back. So we've only got seven <laughs> technical technical thing there. We've only got seven chickens, so we only need three nesting boxes. Um, and we'll fill this with some yeah, nice yeah. straw and yeah. sawdust and things like that for them when they're ready to go in. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we did it. Now it's just got to go inside the, the enclosure, which still needs to be the... <laughs> in yeah, inside the place that isn't an it's inside yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've got to hold her tight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You've got to hold her tight. Hang on. Not too tight, not too tight. Yeah, she's got claws, look. Should we pop her on your lap, look? Oh, she likes that. I can't do it on my lap. Yeah, let's see if she likes that. Let's see it. <laughs> she loves you, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> let's see it. She's cuddling you. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So well. I got one too. So that's it for this week's video. Um, thanks again for joining us this week. And uh, hopefully we won't be reporting dead chickens next week. <laughs> yeah. We buy more, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, thanks again to our, our Patreons um, and for everybody who supports us. Don't forget to check out our ebook, which is also out and has all the useful contacts and everything in if you're planning on moving out here. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>